99% of people feel like they have more to do than they could ever possibly get done in a single day. Now you may be one of those people. We're people of wanting to build big companies. We want to create amazing art. We want to help people advance their lives. And we have to do all of that while growing our families, taking care of our bodies, making sure that our minds don't fall into depression and anxiety. And with all that, we still have to have life-giving friendships and that always takes work. I think I found a few apps that can help kind of reduce the work that you do and some of the obstacles you have in your way. And it helps free you up a little bit to spend your time more on things that actually matter. And by the way, I have a bonus productivity tip at the end. So go ahead and make sure you stick around for that. Let's get right into it. The first app on the list is Ulysses. If you are in the Apple ecosystem, there's at least a small part of you that enjoys clean aesthetic. Well, I don't know of any other writing app that has a clean aesthetic like this that is just ugh, so good. But if an app looks good and it doesn't work well, then it's kind of just like a pig with some makeup on it. It doesn't really work out all that well. But I'm telling you, this app not only feels so good, it also writes incredibly. That was originally used as a long form writing tool, kind of like for blogs and for books, but I actually use Ulysses in every single day life. I use it to write scripts for these videos. I use it to write sermons because I'm a pastor. And I also use it sometimes in meetings when I want a completely distraction-free writing experience. And that's the biggest thing about Ulysses, the distraction-free nature of the app. It's just so good. For me, as somebody who loves to write, I can get into a flow of writing and sit down and completely forget that I'm connected to the internet. I get to use Markdown, which is just kind of effortlessly helpful. It's like watching, if you, if you can liken it to this, it's like watching one of those old Rodney Mullen skate videos. He's just so extremely artful in this complicated thing. He makes it look so easy. Now, if you don't know what Markdown editing is, don't worry about it. It takes all of 10 minutes to acquaint yourself with it. Um, but once you do, you will be so happy you did because Markdown makes it so easy because you don't need to worry about any kind of formatting in your writing. And all that formatting, it's done for you automatically and it looks so good. So you don't even need to worry about it while you're writing to stop and make sure your document looks the way you want it to. You can just write and know that Ulysses is gonna do all the heavy lifting on the aesthetic side for you. So if you're looking for that distraction-free writing experience, I 100% endorse this product. The next app on the list is Yoink. I love the name Yoink. If you say it a couple times, Yoink, Yoink, Yoink. It's one of those things that stops making sense once you say it so many times in your head. I did that while writing the script. But all that aside, Yoink is an amazingly helpful tool. There's some things that, that just work so incredibly well and they're so simple that they kind of feel like they're native to the platform native to Mac OS. And Yoink is just that. It's it's like this bin that you can use anytime you wanna drag and drop something. It's just so helpful. It sounds so simple, right? Like when you're working only with one monitor, whether you're on a laptop or you're, you're working with a single monitor, with Yoink, you drag and drop. You can do multiple files. You can do videos, all that kind of stuff. Then go look for the folder that you're looking for and then you drop them into that folder. And yes, like I know, it sounds so simple, but it's just so helpful. Here's the kicker though, it's nine bucks. And in your mind, nine bucks might not be worth it. But for me, the way that I think of it is I can waste so much money on so many random stupid things. But if this is something that's gonna help me every single day, why not spend money on an app that I'm gonna use for the rest of the time I have a computer. So if you want Yoink, go ahead and pick that up. I'll have it linked in the description below. The next app on the list is Notion. Now, what would a best app video be if you don't mention Notion? Notion is everyone's second brain and it's so powerful. It's, I mean, like it feels like one day Notion is going to take over the world. And obviously I'm just kidding, but essentially in the productivity world, it has taken over everybody's workflow. And that's because it's just that Good. Now, what I use Notion for mostly is organizing all my thoughts and ideas. And so, like I said earlier, when I use Ulysses, I use it to write out all of those ideas. But most of the time, the idea starts out somewhere on Notion because that's kind of where I capture all the things that pop into my brain. Now, one unfortunate side effect to all of this is I feel like I've actually forgotten how to remember things. I mean, like, it's kind of funny, forgotten how to remember things, forgotten how to remember. <laughs> But seriously, I feel like my brain is actually getting more and more useless in the process. Let me know in the comments below if you experience this. You make such a big deal out of your second brain that your actual brain starts to fail. But Notion is an amazing tool. I mean, there's like 10 billion videos out there on the internet of Notion. So I'm not gonna get into it a ton here, but here are just a few of my favorite features. One is that you can link notebooks in different notes and that's super helpful. Second, I like that I can see the status of any given note at a glance when you're in the grid view. I use this a lot for videos and what stage of production they're in. And the third one 
is that it looks pretty. I know that that's kind of stupid. Some people are going to laugh at it. But for me, if something looks good, I want to use it. And Notion does just that. And now for the final app on the list that I use literally every day of my life, it is Magnet. Now you want to know something that Windows does that completely outshines Mac OS. It's their window management. I know that's a shocker, right? It's in the name. But if you want to have that same functionality on a Mac, you need to look no further than Magnet. Once again, it's one of those apps that's just so simple, but it works so incredibly well. With Magnet, all you have to do is you kind of drag a window over to one side of the screen and it snaps to that side of the screen. And then if you have another open, you drag that one to the other side of the screen and it snaps right there. And this is helpful because it's a problem when you, you're somebody who doesn't have multiple monitors. Like it's really helpful to have a tool that helps you to organize your screen. For me, oftentimes I'll have my email open on one side and YouTube open on another side, or I'll have Ulysses open on one side and Chrome on another side so that I can be researching while I'm writing. So this is great for people like me. Maybe if you're a student, this is really, really helpful to have your reference work on one side and your paper on the other. And so if you think that this app would help you, I think the best thing is to just go ahead and download it right now in the app store. I understand it is $9, but once again, we get to this place where you waste $9 all the time on the silliest things. You might as well spend it on something you're going to use every single day. And now for the bonus app that I promised you before, I promised you I would deliver. Here's the bonus app. It's called Typora. Typora is an incredible alternative to Ulysses. It works so good, although it doesn't have as good of an autocorrect system that Ulysses does. I can type so fast because of that because I make mistakes all the time. But what's nice about Typora is that it's not subscription model. You pay once and you have it for life. It's $14 at the time of filming this. But what's nice is you can buy once, cry once kind of thing. And I love that. It's got that same markdown simplicity that Ulysses has. It's awesome, but it's for a one time payment. And I think that's just incredible. And real quick, I have one more tip for you. If you've been building your second brain, you might run into a problem. You have to have that second brain with you at all times. And one way you can get around that is having small devices. And if you want to see my favorite small Apple device, then go ahead and click this link right here. I'll see you guys in the next one.